r slash ask reddit what is an extremely common thing that others can do but you can't i can't whistle i'm 34 now and i'm beginning to feel it won't ever happen never know i didn't learn until i was 18 and it was a complete accident i was studying for finals my freshman year of college and let out a sigh idk why my lips were pursed but they were and my first whistle came out it was 100 percent an accident the problem i had was always that i pushed the air too fast it needs to be the speed pressure of a sigh apparently yep once you get your first whistling sound then you just play around with speed and tongue shape until it sounds better and better. A really weird thing to do is to hum while whistling. It's tricky to get it to line up. Edit. You slash Hawk McClus dubbed it humstling. Open envelopes without completely mutilating them. Don't bother to reopen the flap. Just tilt the envelope for the content to fall on one side and tear the other end to avoid damaging the content. This is what I do. The envelope tears wonderfully when you do it this way. I don't know why more people don't do this. I guess they're scared of tearing the letter. Speak coherently like a normal person. My mind gets way ahead of my mouth. So I constantly stumble over my words and sound like an idiot. I'm the opposite. I'll start talking before I've figured out what I'm gonna say and end up sounding like an idiot. Make those bubbles out of chewing gum. Same. I think it's because the shape of my mouth is messed up. Tried taking flute lessons in college and my teacher told me I had a great mouth for piano. As a musician and teacher this is awful and hilarious. Recognize faces with ease. Bro look into prosopagnosia it explained so many difficulties I had growing up. I realized something was wrong when a random person walked up to me in school and started talking to me and I didn't realize it was my best friend of 6 years. It turns out this whole time I had been recognizing them based on their backpack and today they had been using a different one. I use voices. My wife caught on when we'd walk past a movie poster and she'd say Harrison Ford is in this one and I'd be scanning the written part to see which one she's talking about. But we'd watch cartoons and I'd say oh. Neat. That's Lava Burton. And she look at me like I was crazy. See those magic eye illusions. It's not a schooner it's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat stupid head. Edit. My first ever gold. Thank you kind stranger. Talk for hours on end. How can you have so much to say? Dude. As someone who can never stop talking even I don't know how it's possible. It's like a Wikipedia article. Every other word I speak is a link to another whole topic and then that leads to more topics and that leads to more. It's never ending. I feel this in my soul. I try to stop. My brain says stop. My mouth keeps going and I get just as frustrated as my audience occasionally gets annoyed. Words just vomit. I just find so so many things interesting and I get excited when somebody actually listens to me. Roll my R's. Me too. My first language is Arabic. And in Arabic you have to roll your R's because that is the correct pronunciation except that I have never been able to do so and I used to get bullied because of this. So it's basically a speech impediment. I have a very hard time doing mentally taxing work with other people around. Lots of nights and weekends. This is why I hate having my back to other people when I work. I don't want them seeing my computer screen. I don't want them watching my work. I can't do major writing. Especially anything creative. In a shared document when other people are watching. Edit. Apparently I have friends who share my over the shoulder anxiety. Someday, we will all have our desks against the walls, and a solid door to close out the looky lose. Same, if I have people around I know I'm basically useless until they leave. Remember names. Yep, same here. I dread people saying aren't you going to introduce us. No actually, I may have known these people for years, and could tell you all sorts of things about them. But to remember their names I'll need to go check my phone. I can watch 6 damn seasons of some show, and still won't be able to tell you any of the characters names. Snap my fingers. Pass them to me, I've got a hammer. When you've got a hammer everything looks like a nail. Napping during the day. How do you do that? Nappers? Can't do. Even if I'm extremely tired. Even if I slept 2 hours last night. Same here. The famous 15 minutes power nap. How they can do this? For me it's 8 hours straight or nothing. You guys pull all dayers? 
like all the time? Keep a hobby. Everyone I know has at least one hobby if not multiple, sometimes a lifelong passion. Meanwhile I can't stick to one for more than two weeks. Edit. Since a lot of people commented this, might be added, might not be added, runs in the family and some stuff deaf. Fits never been checked. I just roll with it. Adhut. Do you find you tend to get super invested in a hobby for few weeks then get bored? Ah yes the hyperfixation. Dive into water. It's not that I'm bad at it. It's that I just can't make myself do it. My body won't let me for my illogical fear of breaking my neck. I came here to say this but I'm actually bad at it. I continue over into an underwater role every single time. Keep eye contact while speaking to someone. I can either make eye contact with you or actively listen to what you're saying and absorb it, not both. Same here. I wish I knew how to fix this. Maintaining eye contact with someone for more than a second or two is like holding my hand under hot running water. I can only do it for so long until I have to pull my hand away. Music. Can't carry a tune. Can't play an instrument can't even whistle. Not for lack of trying either I just have no rhythm and can't hear pitch. I was watching a singer react to a song and she was able to know the note by hearing it and I was just like how. Edit. Obligatory wow this blew up. For context. Since I was a kid I was in music programs. I've tried trumpet. Clarinet. Piano. Guitar. Drums. And choir. My mom really wanted me in this but it just wasn't happening. My Christian school teacher gave me an A in our mandatory choir class if I promised to just mouth the words. But for those saying practice, it's like practicing holding water in your hand. As fast as I learn it slips away. I still love music I have just resigned myself to shower performances. I can't identify a pitch just by hearing it or keep a beat. But I've still managed to be a half decent violinist. As long as you can tell the difference between two pitches it's possible. But that doesn't make it easy. Some people just happen to be wizards that can just tell you exactly what note they can hear. Being able to name a note by hearing it is certainly not common. I'd even say that most musicians can't. If you can, you have perfect pitch. Less than 1 in 10. 0, 0, 0 people have this ability. Approximately. Wear earbuds. And here I thought my ears were just deformed or something. I see people walking around doing activities. Heck my teens do chores with them in. All the bending, jostling, turning of the head, and they stay in their ears. I can't move or they'll fall out. Hell, they'll fall out in a few minutes even without moving. I've tried several different kinds over the years, have concluded my ears are just not normal, and gave up on the earbud lifestyle. It could be the fact your earbuds are wrong shape. Some fit my ears well. Some literally give me headache, though it does get expensive to experiment and see which ones fit the best. Make up my f***ing mind. See projects through to the end. I can't whistle through my fingers. I tried several times. I only achieved to spit on my finger. I learned when I was a kid. You just kinda have to slobber all over your fingers and keep plowing until you find the right spot and the right sound comes out. Edit. You duckers aren't allowed to pull this out of context okay lol. Remember what was said within the past 5 minutes. ADHD isn't easy to deal with. I need to upgrade to AD4K. Kneel comfortably. Goddamn knees. I see people just sitting on their kneecaps and I'm like how. This used to be me. But then I started doing daily yoga and now I can sit on my knees for a few minutes before I have to rethink my existence. Cartwheels. Black magic. It's just a scary to commit. Raising your eyebrows separately. I can only raise both eyebrows or only my left eyebrow. Same. I also can't lift my right eyebrow independently. Remember people's birthdays. Google Calendar is your friend. I have to look up my best friend of 23 years day every year. Thank heaven for alerts. Using chopsticks. I was horrible at chopsticks a 2 minute YouTube video showed the position. And the open close movimenti felt kinda stupid when I realized it was way easier than I thought. Because I wanted to try and figure out myself first. I was completely clueless. I encourage you to look for some tutorial. You got this. Edit. Adding the video explaining how to do it in less than one minute that may help. Yautu. 
bxfrzzsf 6 gk much luck. Get into a relationship. I'm with you there buddy. Never been in one. Make friends. Find babies cute. They look like potatoes. Don't get me wrong. I like kids. Just I don't go gaga when I see a baby. Human babies are ugly as duck and anyone who says otherwise are lies. A lot of babies tend to only look cute to the parents for a long while after they are born. Newborns are ugly to many people, but to the parents, they are the sweetest thing on earth. Swallowing pills whole. I literally cannot do that no matter how hard I try. I know it's just a mental thing but my reflexes flat out refuse to let me work past this. Thankfully most times if I ask is there a liquid or a chewable version of this, the doctor or nurse I'm talking to can find a solution. A few months ago I had to go on amoxicillin before a root canal and there is, indeed, a chewable tablet. The other two prescriptions I take are thankfully small enough to sneak into my food and not notice it getting washed down. Painting. Can't even draw scenery. I'm okay, but not really good, at stick figures. My stick figures have scoliosis. Cook fried rice. I know the basics. I've been told 215 different tricks, so many people telling me how simple it is, but I just cannot do it myself. I don't know why, but cooking fried rice is my culinary white whale. Anyone can cook fried rice, but making it taste good is the hard part. Other women can do winged eyeliner, with liquid eyeliner, I am incapable. Take it anymore. Tell people what I really think. Burping sometimes I have so much chest pain from blocked air, I just have to wait until I manage to fart. There is a cure. Check this out. https colon slash slash Liringopedia com retrograde cricopharyngeus dysfunction visit r slash nobberp or feel free to DM for more info. I received the treatment over two years ago. Still burping. It changed my life. C. Sorry. Drive. I'm scared of driving because I get so distracted and my vision is bad. Whistle. Not with fingers or anything I just can't do it. Woman shrugging. I can whistle but I can't see the color red because I'm color blind. If we go strawberry picking you'll whistle and you help me pick ripe ones. We'll be a team like Voltron. Read an analog clock in under 5 seconds. I am 45 plus I am a software architect in a F100 company. Still not that bright. Man shrugging. Form mental images. So I can't create imaginary images and my memory is not visual. My memories are essentially just lists of words and very limited. Formal terms are aphantasia. HTTPS colon slash slash en wikipedia org wiki aphantasia and severely deficient autobiographical memory sdam open bracket https colon slash slash sdams to d weebly com what is dam html keep up with housework my house is a disaster until i hyper focus two hours before guests are supposed to arrive i feel frustrated and upset by the mess and want so desperately to clean but cannot do it Thanks, ADHD. Swim. Everyone asks, but what if you're on a boat and it sinks? What will you do then? I'll die. Susan. I can't swim. Eating when hungry, stopping when full. Can't ride a bike. Wife can't remember left and right while giving driving directions. You'd think she'd be 50 stroke 50 just guessing but, as a mathematician, I find it curious that she's closer to 85% incorrect. Open bracket. 12 years of data collection. Roll my R's. Produce enough serotonin to maintain balanced emotions. I can't crack my back anymore. I used to be able to do it all the time, but now I can't. It's not like it's painful, it's just that nothing happens when I try to do it nowadays. I miss that feeling. Socializing. Talk on the phone. It's so draining that it's painful. Do simple tasks like eat when I'm hungry. My brain files the hunger as difficult and unimportant and instead I research the Byzantine Empire or some shit. Thanks, ADHD. Go to bed early. I have a very unusual sleep schedule due to work. And if I need to be up at a particular time outside that schedule, I often get advice like just go to bed early so you can wake up. 
People say this as if it's perfectly normal and sane. But I have no idea how it's even vaguely possible. I can maybe get to bed 15 minutes earlier than usual if I need to, but if I tried to go to sleep 3 hours before my usual time, I'd just lie in bed for 3 hours not sleeping. If I need to adjust my sleep schedule, I either need to go forward by staying up super late for a few days, or do it slowly over the course of weeks or months. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.